Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Vector Wednesday. Even though it's Thursday, I will be posting a video showing my layers for my new Susan Coffee Vector uh, done with the Gradient Mesh tool and Illustrator CS6. Took approximately 90 plus hours, probably longer, but kind of lose track of time. Uh, I had one person on DeviantArt, Ariel, claim that my work is Photoshop edited picture whatever whatever she said but uh thank you guys for the support last time i checked the uh, image been on deviantart for a day or so and has over 16,000 views so thank you thank you all for the turnout but uh let's get this going Alright, just so you know, Ariel is the person's real name and not their DeviantArt username. I wouldn't do that to anybody. I mean, Ariel from Germany. I'll say that. But uh, this is for you and for the people that want to see how uh, the process of this creation of DeviantArt for these detailed vectors. And I will be making some more tutorials going in length about how to get this kind of quality. But I don't think I will be producing many more with this amount of time that it takes to put into it but this is the eye this is the first section and I zoomed in to show you uh, that when you zoom in the dots become more visible and I have to work that way zoomed in quite a bit sometimes up to 4800 percent just to see but uh, I did this uh, bottom below the iris part I did uh, that eye area with the eyeball included then I did a section to the left of it because I work on one side of the face just to see if I can get this completed. But what I'm about to do now is show you guys uh, how I create these complex pieces. I go to object, select create mesh after I created the square of course and and put the rows on 35 and the columns on 35. And when I have that I go back to object, go to envelope distort and put the rows on two, put the mesh on two. You saw the other mesh disappeared, but it's still there underneath, but you have to play with it. It's hard to explain in this short video. But I shape, and to get these complex shapes like the eye, I, uh, I have to do this. I shape it how I want, and when I bring it, when I expand it, it, it adds those 35 rows or columns that I put in the first place with the shape that I added after. It's crazy but it works. And then from that point I just add more mesh lines as needed. And just so you know if I go through a mesh uh, piece and add more mesh lines later I don't have to add color to each mesh line. So you might see a lot of mesh lines in my work but I don't have to add color after I already mesh spent five hours meshing a section. If I want to add new mesh lines, I add uh, the color where needed. So you see this is basically the shape of the eye. It's a lot of work goes into these gradient mesh and especially the detail mesh. But I mean a lot of people won't understand. But you have to play around with it and know the basics of meshing to understand a lot of the stuff I, I do here. But and I did go ahead and number my pieces so it would be easier to do the video record. But these, this mesh, this black mesh at the bottom, it was a pain. The left side of the mesh had to have more detail in it because it had the finger included. But the right side of the black mesh was kind of blurred so it didn't have to have as many mesh lines. And I did the hair. I put that, I tried to uh, blend the hair from the forehead that overlapped on the forehead skin and the hair pieces that I put together, I tried to blend them all together. And as you see with the nose, everything just worked out. Did the section below the nose with the top lip included. The top lip didn't need as much detail, so I added the bottom lip in the mouth area as a separate mesh. 
and everything just blends together. Left bottom face. And as you see in this, it's, it doesn't look as, as good as people say it is and realistic because when you see the process and you, if you see what I see when I'm creating, I'm not as impressed as you guys because I know what I did to put into it and I created the fingers individually and this finger here and the one I'm about to add they're the same finger I mean I'm telling you this because there's a lot of shortcuts you could take when creating gradient mesh I used the same finger I changed some lines around and went from there and I had to read I did all the color but the finger is the same It's the first major hair section, and the one outside it, I meshed a lot, not as much detail as the face. It wasn't necessary. I just wanted to pick up certain uh, vertical lines that will add detail. So when I add hair strands, it'll kind of blend in with each other. And the hair strands are a vector brush. Uh, I think I did a lot of them at 30%, and I did some at... 15% so it's like a varied state with the hair. I mean just whatever looks good. Now you see this part right here where the on the right up above the shoulder. See those jagged areas? They're hard to get uh when meshing hair. So that's why I use the brushes to cover up certain things. But it all comes together. And like always, if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, hit me up in the comment section or hit me up on DeviantArt, Frank White 81 Until next time, peace.